we are doing chapter 15, chi squared and stats. Thank you. Okay, so this is my student. <laughs> Say hi again. Hi. Hi. Yeah, this is my student. They still survive and they say they are going to have a good day, right? right? Promise me, right? You'll have a good day. Okay. Yeah. And I promise give you dessert. When I say dessert, I SPS dessert, right? Okay. And so this is our last chapter. And you should be so proud of yourself if you work very hard up to this point. When you look at those books, you say, I know it, I know it, I know it, I know it. That feels so good, right? Yeah, and my husband say, asked me, because he also teaches statistics, and he said, how's your student? I said, my student, so good, they work hard, they concentrate. I said, how's your student? He said, I don't think they understand. <laughs> I wish I can go there to teach for you, right? But let's see how good you guys are. Okay, now, chi-square, is anybody want to tell us about, what do you remember about chi-square? That's my, this should be the part where I put Where did I put that? Where did I put my, I think it's right here. Next to the Oh yeah, thank you. Okay, tell me, what do you remember about chi-square? I don't know, I used to give up by this portion of the class. <laughs> yeah. Nothing, I used to give up by this time. Oh, you used to get, you never get to here. <laughs> nope. Before here, you drop up. And then some teacher don't even have time to get to Kai Square. Yeah, okay. So she didn't know this part. She never get to this country. Okay, anybody? What's chi-square? Chi-square is actually quite different from our previous uh, chapters. Why? Why make chi-square a little bit different than others? Isn't it the type of data that you're looking at? Yeah. Like it's different? Yeah. So it's like nominal or whatever? Yeah. Very good. Nominal. Right? Okay. So actually, uh, let's say, first of all, let's think about when you do statistic, okay, ideally, we have this assumption, ideally, okay, for example, we assume all the data should be normal distribution, should be, you know what normal distribution looks like, right? <laughs> right? Your, your curve, right? Your curve should look like this right okay second assumption is all the variance should be homogeneity what's that mean what's it what's mean all the variance should be homogeneity what's that mean what's mean homogeneity they should be the same so your data even we try to compare the difference, but they should be the same before you do anything, before you give the treatment. Okay, they should be the same, but then because a certain factor make them different. Okay, so for example, male or female should be the same, but because of gender, make them different. Okay? Saturday class, graduate student, undergraduate student should be the same. When we say same is their various, they are they are should be the whole group should be whole very similar, okay? But then because something make them different, okay? So that's a second second uh uh hypothesis assumption. Another assumption is linearity. That means data should have a lin linear relationship. That means you know if this go up, this should go up, okay? If this go down, this should go down or those have some relationship, okay? And then data should be independent. Should be independent, okay? However, life is not always perfect, okay? So if, if they all match this assumption, 
okay? Then you are testing something we call pyrometric test, okay? And pyrometric actually is the one we, we just finished, we already finished. Like your P test, ANOVA, those tests we call pyrometric test. Okay, those tests, if this test, if your data can fulfill that kind of assumption, your data is a normal distribution, if the variance is homogeneity, okay, then you are testing pyrometric test. Okay, now for pyrometric test, we call ANOVA and T test, and we do this to avoid type 1 error. Anybody still remember what's type 1 error? You reject, and then what? You reject even they are not true, but you reject. Right. We reject, we say, oh, they are the same. And we say, we reject, I mean, they are different, but actually still the same. So they are not the same, but anyway. So when you reject, ED to by the type one error. So the more you reject, the more likely you make mistake. So the more you say no to the guy, they really love you. In the future, your life is, oh, I should marry that guy. <laughs> but you, if you don't reject, then you just don't, re you just don't know what happened, right? Okay. So anyway, so you, if you possible, if your data pretty good, we encourage people to do pyrometric test. Okay. Especially if your data is what? Everybody remember. To do pyrometric test, your data should be interval and ratio. Everybody remember? Right? Your data should be able to count, to get average. Okay. Do you know why in the uh, election, all only show percentage? Why don't they show mean score and standard deviation? Why not? No one asked for that. No one asked for that, yeah. but they cannot do it because we are human beings. You cannot say mean, mean average people vote for this one is what? Or mean, oh, you can say mean average, average mean average of age is fine, but not people. For example, you say 50, 52.3 people vote for this one. Who is point three? If you vote, you are one. If you vote, you don't vote, you are zero. No such thing called point three vote for this one or not one. Okay? Because people is not interval data or ratio data. Okay? So that's why we are introduced non pyrometric tests. Okay? Because what? Because they are not require normal population distribution, they don't require homogeneity, and they don't they don't require you need to have interval and ratio level data. Okay, and then possible just like for this election, for this election, you have no way to get interval or ratio level data. You only get the data called nominal. Okay. Got it? So the one we are going to introduce chi-square belongs to what kind of test? Parametric or non-parametric? Non-parametric. Okay, and that, that's why they put them in the last chapter, you know, because they say the first choice if you are doing statistics, you should go find to do parametric, okay? And then this give you another option if your data is not uh, interval and ratio, then they say you can do non parametric Okay. Okay, so when we say non parametric there are several, but chi-square is the one people use the most. 
Okay, chi squared. Okay, is anybody you learned chi squared before today? Samantha say, like, yes or no? Yes, I just don't remember. Okay, you you remember chi squared, but you don't remember the detail. You do? Okay, is anybody this is actually new for you? Okay, okay, anybody? In the last row, I don't hear, I don't see any hand. Is that, do you guys remember, or oh, did you learn chi squared before? You do? Cannot know? <laughs> Not sure? No? Yeah, they say yeah? Okay, when? Okay. Chi square. Do you remember you, you like you like it or you remember you don't like it? Okay, you, you remember you don't like it. Okay. How about Yeah, I took stats my freshman year. Yeah. And do you remember you like it or you don't like it? No. I don't remember. You don't remember your feeling? Yeah, I know. Okay, you don't know. Okay. Okay, how about Jason? Don't remember or don't like it? Never remember before. Okay, good. That's a good thing. If you don't know, that's my show. Okay. <laughs> I just think sometimes if you want learn something wrong, then I would rather you never learn it. Or you don't like it, then that's fine. Then hopefully I can make you like it. Okay. But anyway, so chi square, I think chi square is very cute. Okay, chi square very cute. Okay. Now, chi square statistic. Okay. They are trying to see if something you observe and something you expect are they different. Okay, so for example, we assume uh, for okay, for donuts, for example. We assume 50% people like it and 50% people don't like it. Okay, that's your expectation, right? Their ex expectation, right? But then you start to ask people, you like it, you like it, you like it, and you find actually eight people say like it, and then two people say they don't like it. But your expect number is five, five, and not your A and two. And you say, oh. They are different. It's different from our expectation. Okay, so that is chi square. But also, if you have a proportion, okay. So for example, for this program, we assume we have more girls, more male, female than male. So if we say we have a okay, seven, seven, seventy percent is female, thirty percent is female. Then I come to class and see what's the real number and say, oh, let's match this proportion or they are different. Okay, so that's what we do for chi-square. Okay, so now for chi-square, the formula, okay, ready for the formula? Okay, every time when you see the formula, you should say, good for you, because what? I work so hard to write this formula, okay? in the word document and finally they understand me okay so every time when i put the word document and they understand me i do thank you okay so now this is the formula okay this is the formula okay so now before i tell you just guess what's what's f o stand for and what's f e stand for, and what's f stand for? what's f stand for f is the one Frequency and what's all? Observe. Observe and what's E? Perspective. Wow, my gosh, you guys are already hungry. Wow. Mm -hmm. We can leave them. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because I already tell you that the purpose for the chi square is to test the difference between observe, frequency, and expect. Right? And then what's this big, like, oh, uh, what's this? What's this? Some. Right? Add them together. Okay. But just warn you, it's a lot of calculation for doing the chi square by hand. Okay. A lot of calculation. Make sure you calculate right. Okay. 
So now, when we do chi-square, that's another set of assumptions about chi-square is independent observation. Okay, so that means you, you observe here, that group of people don't go here. If people vote for Biden, they don't go for Trump. They cannot vote for both. If you vote for both, then that's not count as a valid ticket. If you like Donna, then you cannot, you have no way to not like Donna. Okay? So they should be independent observation. Okay? Then the mini, minimum, minimum size for each cell and need to have this five. So if you collect the data and you run chi-square and you find that you have one cell, it's only two. Actually, chi-square won't allow you to do that. Okay, so at least need to have a five in each category, in each group. Okay, so that's two assumptions. One is they have to be independent. Okay, another one, each group have to less than, you need to minimize its five when you do your research, when you collect your data. Okay, when you do your practice, it's not, it's okay, you can calculate, but then when you do the research, just make sure you're aware the minimized size is five. Okay? Are we ready for the for the track? Okay, so one they have a two kinds. So today we are going to talk about two types of high high square. Two types. Okay. One is called goodness of fit. Goodness of fit. Okay? And goodness of fit actually it's it's like the one I just talked about. For example, if you like donuts and you don't like donut, no donut, okay? And then, I, I don't care about gender different, I don't care about uh, racial different, I just care about the whole group, okay? And I want to see, you know, if how, if five people like donut, eight people don't like donut. So I only do this part, it's called goodness of it, okay? But then, if later, I'm introduced high school for independence. That means I also care about male and female, how they are, how gender social is their favor in donuts. Okay, so if I put another variable in, then you don't run goodness of it, you run high school for independence. Okay, so let's start with high school for fit. And please be very careful. This just like independent and dependent and one sample T looks like they look similar. They are brothers, but they are they they have different formula, they have different way of calculation, and then they also live in different place in SPSS. Okay? Okay, so then that's goodness of fit. Okay. So when you test for goodness of fit. Okay, now, one of the way we are testing is no difference from a known population. Okay, so for example, uh, in some case, a researcher may want to compare the frequency of random drone sample to the frequency of known population distribution. So I, as I say, you know, if you already know the original proportion, Okay, you already know proportion. Okay, and you want to know the sample you have, are they the same proportion? Usually we have more female students in this graduate program. Okay, and for example, if I say 80%, 20%, then I walk in a new group, and I want to say, oh, how this, how this school, how this year, student distribution, looks like, are they same as our expectation or they are different? Okay, for example, we also have more American students than international students in this program, okay? So then when you see Hampton sit here and say, huh? <laughs> you, know, you know, you can say, oh, that's different from my expectation, okay?
okay? But then you want to know how much bigger. Okay, so that example, and we are going to work this up, work on this, okay? A professor collects data to determine if the political affiliation of students who major in political science co correspond to the pattern illustrated by votes in the last U.S. presidential election. Okay, so make sure you remember how to write hypothesis, okay? The first hypothesis we will say they are the same. Okay, so now this part a little bit different. Remember, before today, we all remember HO, you will have a word called not in your HO, okay? But then this one different. This one, we don't have a not in HO, we have not in uh, H1. So we assume they are the same. We are the same. The political affiliation of political science students are the same as those of you as voters. And then your H1 will say, oh no, they will be different. Okay, so now how they looks like. So we say, you know, when we say yes and no, can be no preference. That means I'm just say 50-50, or I can say 30-50. Okay, so this one is no preference. If no preference, that means in each category, they are the same, okay? Okay, so now, uh, why I have that one and this one? Okay, it can be. Okay, this is just an example. And then I have this one. Okay, so now the null hypothesis uh, for political predict equal equal in each category over no preference. Okay, so for example like this. Okay, so look at this. Okay, what's different between this one? What's different between this one and this one? You tell me. What's different between these two? Yes. Okay, so this one, I have a, uh, I already have something. I say they have a, no, go back there. Okay. Here I say they are correspondent with some pattern. So you are testing if your pattern is same as their pattern, okay? But the next one, they don't have pattern. They just say, you know, they are, uh, is there is preference one of the five candidates. So if they are no preference, that means I equal, I divide them equally. So you are 100, divide equally, divide by five, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay, so then your, your way of right hypothesis will be a little bit different. Here we say equal divided, and we say not equal divided. Okay, please tell me if you kind of what? When we get to example, you're more clear, but I just want to show you, when you write hypothesis, don't just use the same idea, write all the questions. You need to know what the question asking. Okay, so that's give the example here, okay? So this example from our book, and actually the book already have all the answer, but I think that's easy, okay? So a new professor at Mises College want to see if her grade distribution after her first year of teaching was comparable to overall college grade distribution. So ideally, the percentage is A is 10%, B is 22%, C is 40%, B is 21%, and F is 7%, okay? And then her, this new professor in her class, 323 students at the end of her semester, and she found she had 38 students got A, 78 students got B, 139 students got C, 55 students got a D, and 13 got an F. And she wanted to see if this number match with this percentage. 
Okay, so ideally, in the overall college, yeah, 10% student got an A, right? 22 got a B. So we want to see if that 38 is 10%. We want to see 78% is, is 22%. If 139 is 40%, 55, 91 is done. So that means you know some proportion already. Okay? And so you need to test in 0.05. How do you write hypothesis? You can say the distribution of grade for the new professor fits the overall grade distribution of the college. Right? So we say, yeah, we assume the grade she gave it fits this proportion. Okay? And then your research hypothesis will say, no, no, they are not. Okay, now, any question about hypothesis? Okay, now let's see how do we get degree of freedom. Anybody remember how do you get degree of freedom for T? How do you get how do you get independent degree of freedom for independent T test? Now this one, T test. Minus one for each group, right? Very good. Do you remember how to get degree of freedom for correlation? The one we did, you did, we did last week. Minus two. Minus two. Okay. They all by how many people, right? Right. Anybody remember how you get degree freedom for ANOVA? Depend on between, within, right? A little bit complicated. Okay. For this one, another way. Okay. You don't care about how many people. Actually, you care about how many group? Okay, so look at this data. How many group? One, two, three, four, five. Right? Five group minus one. So you got four. Okay, so then in your table eight, that's your last table in this textbook. Okay? In table eight, okay? And I found actually in your homework, I still find some student put the wrong degree, uh, wrong critical value. So please be very, very, very careful uh, because that can hurt your grade. Okay. So let's see if we have um, if you are table eight. Okay, table eight, your degree freedom is four. And then I ask for 0 0.05, 4.05, you're supposed to get 9.488. Everybody, are you able to know how to find 9.0? Okay. And then actually, remember, I always say two tail, you should say plus, minus, right? In here, I don't care because chi square always plus. You never get negative value for chi square, okay? For, you know, because when you see formula, you see they have a square. Yes? Can you explain degree freedom again? I don't understand what the key is. Okay. Degree freedom is how many group minus one. So we have, a, in this data, do you see A, B, C, D, E? That's five group. Uh -huh. And five group minus one. So you got four. Okay. Okay, and then use that four to go to table A and under 0.05, so you got 9.488. And I say you don't, if you put plus minus, I won't, I won't, I won't uh, punish you, punish you, okay? But then if you don't need to put because chi square always square, chi square, that means this score always square, so then you will never get that number, okay? So in this part, <coughs> make sure you know how to get degree freedom. Everybody good so far? Okay. So now, when we calculate, okay, so now you have to, before you do this part, okay, this one should be flying, I don't know why they can fly. You transfer this percentage into your table. Okay, so this is 10%, right? 
20%. So write down beside the number. So you should write 0.10 or you write 10% beside 38, 22% beside 78, 40% beside 139, 21% beside 55, and then 7% beside uh, 13, okay? And that is easier for your calculation, okay? Okay, so everybody so far so good? Okay, so now you need to translate those numbers into how many people? Okay, so total you have 323 people, right? You know how do you find the three, two, three? Sometimes the question tell you. If the question don't tell you, you calculate, you add those data. Okay, so you add 38 plus 78 plus 139 plus 55 plus 30, you get 323. Three. Okay, so 10% of 323 three is 32.3. Right? And 22% of 323 three is 71.06. Okay? 40% of 323 Two three is one twenty nine point twenty. Twenty one percent of two, three two three is sixty sixty seven point eighty three, and then uh, seven percent of three two three is twenty two point sixty one. Right, and then you put this number here. That's why I have two tables. I intend to put two tables. So first table you put the percentage in, okay? And then you calculate what that percent mean and then translate to this number. Okay, because this number is very important. And if you put this number wrong, then the calculation after that will be wrong. Okay, so far so good. So then that means, you know, your observation number is 38, right? And your expectation number is 32.3. Right? And your observation number is 78 for B, then your expectation number is 71.06. Right? So this is from your expectation. Okay? And now, after that, we need to get into this lovely formula. Okay? Lovely formula. So then you just need to do, ooh, there are a lot of numbers. So 38 minus 32.3 and square, that's why you never get negative number, divide by 32.3. Okay? Plus 78 subtract 71.06 square. Divide by 71.06. Good. 139 subtract 129.20 square divide by 129.20. Okay? And the same thing for this. Okay, so actually it's so easy, but it takes a lot of energy for this calculation. Okay? And after you add them, you become this number, 8.94. Let's just take two, two decimal, okay? Let's just take two decimal. Okay, so then I think maybe easier you finish each of them, write down number and then do next one, put down number, and this one, put down number, okay? And then so you got 8.94. What is our chi square critical? Okay, remember? Eight point what? Uh, nine point four four eight. Nine point four four eight. And now you got this. Okay, you got this. This number is smaller. And you know when we do hand calculation, you want the, you you are suits, you are you are fighting for bigger number, right? And so if this number is smaller, that's been they are not good news. Right? So if they are not good news, 
Then you say the professor great did not differ significantly from those of the kanji at large. Or you can, I find it too easy, you can just go back to your uh, non hypothesis and just put here. Okay? You can just say they are the same. Okay? And you fail to reject. And then here, that's also the very interesting way to write here. Okay? You write degree freedom and put DF there. Okay, so four, you remember why is four, right? You remember why is four, right? Yeah. Okay, because why? K minus one, right? Okay, four degree freedom and N equal three, two, three, that means total, okay? And equal 8.94 and your P is greater than 0.01. Oh, you add them together. You add this number together. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Okay. You you think you understand? Raise your hand. You think you understand? Okay. Okay. Raise your you okay. 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 So that is the. Uh, if we know the proportion, okay? So this is another question from your turn, okay? They say the owner of large company want to see if the ethnic diversity of her company refer the diversity of her state, okay? And the breakdown of her state is like this, okay? You have 63.9%, that's supposed to be white, okay? 14A, 14.8% is supposed to be black, 13.7% is supposed to be Hispanic, 3.7% is supposed to be Asian, and 3.9% is supposed to be others. And now, here they tell you, 1054 employee in her company, and she wants to know if her company, the ethnic diversity match with the state uh, percentage. Okay, and so these are data there, right? Like this, here, or data here. Okay, so let's do our hypothesis first. What do, what do we say hypothesis? They'll be same, right? The, at least diversity of the company reflect the diversity of her state, right? You, you know, when you write this hypothesis, you don't have to exact the same words. As, my, as long as I know you say they are the same, okay, and then he'll be say different. Okay, now what's the degree of freedom for this one? Four, right? Right, like last time, right? Okay, and so then the critical will be the same if they are four, okay? And we also test point of five. Okay, so what do we do? Guess what next slide going to look like? What's the next slide? What, I, what I'm going to have when I go to the next slide? I'm going to have a chart with what? With the percentage. Okay, with percentage. Okay, so I think this is a good way. So I, I prefer you have a different chart here. Okay, so then this chart, you use the percentage times total number and then put here, right? That's your number 674, okay? Then you suppose have a, uh, so you have a 674 expectation number for white, okay? Then use the same total number times 14.8, so 0.148. So make sure when you change that percentage to decimal, make sure you change that correctly. Okay, so 14.8 is equal 0.148. Okay, make sure you change, change, change that correctly. So 156, okay? Then this 0.137 times 1054, you suppose have 144 Hispanic, okay? Then 0 0.037 times this number, you suppose have 39 Asian, okay? And the number times the number is supposed to have 41 others. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. So far, so good. So this is pretty much your calculation. Make sure you calculation correctly. Okay. Then once you get this number, then you put this number here. Okay. And then tell me how you calculate before I show the line. How do you calculate? Okay, can you tell me that formula? Should be what? Um, FO minus FD, so that's the 607 minus 674. And then whatever that is, you square it. And then whatever that is, you divide it by 674. Yes. Okay? This number, subtract this number, A square, and whatever it is, divide by the bottom number. Okay, and plus the same thing, and plus same thing, plus same thing. Just remember, you have to be square. If you calculate and you find your number is negative, what's that mean? You are wrong. Okay, because you will say, oh, it makes sense because it's two tail, that can be negative. No, because our formula is square. Okay, so. Whatever, no matter what you do, if you see square, if you see negative number, that means you're already wrong. That means you forget to square that. And also, divide the bottom number. Divide the bottom number, not divide by total, divide by the bottom number. Okay? So that's like this. It looks like this. Okay? So I got 23.21. And this number is bigger than your a critical value. So what does that mean? It means we reject, and we, when we reject, that means they are the reflect. Let me see. We reject. Let me see if I do something wrong here. Maybe maybe I'm, I put wrong here. Okay, let me go back. So if you reject, actually you should say this. So actually, my slide is not right. Okay, so you reject this, this will be say they are the same. But when you reject, that means what? They are different. They are different. Right. So the ethnic, ethnic uh, diversity of company does not, does not reflect the diversity of her state. You got it? Okay, you reject, you reject the noun, now we say they are the same. Research hypothesis they are different. Okay? Got it? Okay, I'll make sure everybody is back. Hey, now you okay? You got there because Could it call ready? Yeah. Okay. So if, it, if we were rejecting it, it would say 0 0.05? If we reject, we will say less than 0 0.05. Is that your question? So is your thing wrong on there, the little thing? No, no, only, only wrong is my statement. Yeah, okay. So you said it would be. Yeah, okay. Let me go here. So if, if I reject this, this if I reject this, that means it should be like this. This, I found this. Okay, because the number is bigger, right? Because the number is different from your expectation. Yeah, because your chi square is bigger. So if it does reflect it, is it the same number or smaller? If you are, if I got a chi square is like a point two smaller than this number, then I fail to reject. Okay. Then that'll be this. Got it. Right? We are like 15 brains here. So I want to make sure we are in the same place. Yeah, see? When I make when I make PowerPoint, I even don't know I, I'm wrong there. Now when I'm teaching, I know, oh, it's not right. 
okay? So that means I found does not reflect this, right? And this, if you want to write my way, you will say this is my HO, and my HO is this, and I reject, okay? But if you don't say HO, and I assume that's my result, then I will say does not. You know what I mean? If you want to state your non-hypothesis first, then you put my, you put HO, then if you say my HO, then you say, you say whatever your HO say, and then you say I reject. But because I didn't say, looks like this is my final statement, so I say does not. Okay, that makes sense? Okay. Okay, so how's high school so far? Good, right? It, you know, other tests you cannot test this. So this is perfect when you go home, look at those news reporters, you maybe take picture of one of the information and see you can get high school. You can get high school number. But the problem, they, they give you percentage. You cannot calculate with percentage. You have to go back to their original number to calculate. Okay? So nice. You know, like when you when you do the research, before I had my class, this class doing collect the data from pre existing state data. And they will find actually a lot of statistics there is percentage. They say can I calculate? I said no, you need to find population and then find the percentage back to the original. Okay, so this one, if you know proportion, okay, that's why you put this percent there, put the number there, because you know the proportion. Okay, so now let's see, if we don't know the, if we, we have no preference, if we don't care about which one should be more better than which one, like this one, a manufacturer of women's clothing wants to know which of the colors, uh, gray, blue, green, brown, black, would be preferred for the uh, full collection. Okay, so the random sample, 92 women shoppers were asking their preference, and then you will test this equal preference uh, non hypothesis and using this. Okay, so they are collect this number. 5, 19, 19, 27, 22, but they don't have preference, okay? So before we do any further, what's this number? Is this F O O F E? The number I this here. If this number is F O O F E. F O. The number already there, okay? How do I get my F E? Huh? Yeah, but then how? You already know 92. Uh, you have to get the X to critical. Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I jump in myself okay. just for this one. How do you get your F E? Yeah, what's N? So N is 92, right? Uh -huh. I have whatever percentage is. Uh, divide by 10. Divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? Divide by 5. So I got what? What do I get? 92 divided by 5 will be give you 18. Point four. Right? Yes. Right? Okay, let's see. That's I will I'll jump back, but let's look at see if we are right. See? Okay? You see 18.4, Why? Because we have no preference. So if you have no preference, we just divide 
the total number to how many groups. Okay, because I don't know, you know, people's pre preference proportion. So I just assume if I get equal among, if I assume they all equal preference, everybody like the same things in equal way, then I will see the one I collect, are they match? Okay, so the, th the different for preference versus non-proportion, if you are non-proportion, you will times the proportion. If you have no preference, you just divide equally. Okay, and we will we, we get here. I'm just going to give you brainstorming before we get there. Okay, so see, that's how we do uh, hypothesis also a little bit different language. Here we say equal, equal. Okay, and then here we say not equal, not equal. Okay, so I assume all color will be equal. That means all my color, even I see, what, you know, I see this number, I say they are equal preferred. But in my research hypothesis, they are not equal preferred. Okay, so what is the, what is the degree of freedom? Whoa, again. So then, uh, this is the I have 13. Before we have four, right? I have 13 point two seven seven. Do I have something wrong here? I have 13 point two seven seven. Let me double check. What's our degree freedom before? Because I remember we also have degree freedom four. Right? 13 point. Two seven seven. Let me see. I want to make sure I give you the wrong right information. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Because I met, I followed the book, but then I have one place. Okay. Yes. Yes. Sorry. I'll ch I will I will change PowerPoint when I go back. Okay. Here, because the book uses this, and you know because I copy paste. I forget to change here. Okay, so I cannot go there to change, so you change it here, okay? This one face up group is 0.01, so you'll know it's good thing I didn't open this one here, so I'm going to change before I open it. 0.01, okay, rather than 0.05, okay? And then that's why your critical, critical is 13.277. After that, you you can do this. Follow whatever we did before. We divide them, okay? And then that's why you have this, okay? So now I don't need to do that. Okay. So once you get here, then you remember how to do it, right? Can not just give us the a good. Brenda, you want to try? Try? How do we calculate our chi square? Would it be the five minus eighteen point four squared uh -huh. divided by eighteen point four? Yes. Very good. And plus them. Yeah. And then add them. Yeah. Add them together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Add them, add them, add them, add them, add them, add them. Okay, and then you make this good. Okay, and so this one you reject this one. This one I do. I, I write. I do write correct. Good. Okay, so because you reject, so you say they are not equal divided or not equal free. But you assume everybody like the color in the same way, but you reject. So you say no, they are people prefer different color. 
right? Looks like more people like brown and black than gray. Okay. So far, okay, so far, so good. Hopefully I don't confuse you. Is okay, is it okay? So next one is from our book, Your Turn. Is anybody a chance to work in your turn before you come here? Okay, so this one, the owner of nightclub, okay, they want to see how people prefer in the music. Okay, so they want to buy a record and they want to see if people like a male vocalist or female vocalist or just instrument. Okay, and they say, ask you to write, uh, they have 72 customers, let them ask their preference. Okay, so this one, the, the homework already give you it's no preference. They didn't give you any percentage. So if you don't see any percentage, we assume they are equal distributed. Okay. So then you have 72 customers. So then each group is supposed to be 24. They are FE. No. Depend on how many group. So these three, right? Okay, this one we want three group. Last time we just happened, they all had five group. Okay. Yeah, so K, they don't have set number. You just need to count. Okay, I'm glad you ask. Okay, so then this time is three minus one is two. Okay, and I thought I put in super that two is supposed to be on the top. Why they are there? Okay. A chi square critical value, if you check table A, supposed to be 5.1591. Okay? Okay, and then, ooh, my hypothesis. Okay, all types, okay, were equally preferred, okay, or they are not. Okay, so you are. H O is all oh, everybody will equally like whatever, but then this one say they are not. Okay. Okay. Then next one just calculate, calculate, and calculate, and calculate, and calculate, and please do spend the time to type this in your homework. Okay, because I want to see if you able to to follow. Okay. So you got this, 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 and you got 1.59. What's our chi-square value, critical value? What's, what's the value? We have a 5.991, right? And this time is smaller. Okay, smaller, it means fail to reject. And you fail to reject, that means they are equal preferred. Yes? Where does the 24 in parentheses come from? 24 because you total have 72. 72, 72 divided by 3. Okay. It's 24. Okay? Okay, so you smother, you fail to reject. And you are fail to reject, actually easy. You just go back to your HO. You can just copy your HO to here. So they are equal preferred. And then because you are fail to reject. Yes? 
Yes. Okay. Yes. The, the P is greater than 0.05. Is that because 1.59 is greater than 0.05? Yes. So okay. if you look at here. Okay. So we put 0 0.05. So if if F chi square want to reach it, chi square has to be our number is what? 5.1. 5.991, right? Mm -hmm. And right now, you are 1.09. Here. 59, right? So this P is 0.05 here. From here to here is 0.05. Yeah. But right now, you are here. In this area, not is bigger. This P is bigger. P is bigger than original setup. But your, this number is smaller than this number. Yeah, which is why we failed to reject. Yeah. But we're still going off of P is, is greater than 0.05 because 1.59 is a bigger number. Yeah. Right? Okay. Because the area bigger. Please talk about area. Okay. If you want to Make yourself clear, you can put two things. You can put 1.59 smaller than 5.99, and then P is greater. So one will be small, make another one greater. If this number is smaller than this number, that make this area bigger. I'm going to ask. <laughs> Anybody else? OK. So give me thumbs up if you understand so far. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, so this is about chi square for what's the name? Goodness, Goodness of faith. Okay, the one we are talking about so far is a chi square for. I just found the name so far. Goodness of faith, right? And then after that, we are talking about chi square for independence. Okay. That light, that cloud is misleading me. Okay, that cloud is one hour. Okay. Okay. Everybody good? Coffee, tea? Coffee, tea? <laughs> Time for fried ten minutes to come out. Coffee, tea? Coffee, tea? Okay. And hopefully, in the future, when you go to your PhD and your statistics teacher asks you, anybody know about high school? Hopefully, all you say yes. Okay. In that crazy year, 2020, we all wear masks and we learn high school. Okay. Chances are, when you go to PhD, they will ask you to learn all this again. Or at least they, they can wave your card. Possible if you. Don't wait too long. If you were very long to go to PhD, then they will ask you to relearn it. And it's not bad if you if you have enough time to do it. You know, because when you see different teachers teach the same thing, they will give you another perspective. Okay, so another type of chi square, okay, actually is very good usage to test another variable. Right, because chances are when you are doing your research, you don't want to just see the whole what's going on for your whole part, your whole sample, right? You want to see what other variable can be an inference, right? How about gender, right? How about you know, as we say, the ethnicity group, you know, how they are different or similar, okay? And remember, when we are learning Pearson, we are trying to see the relationship, right? This somehow is, we can say that Pearson's cousin, Pearson's cousin, because they also give you the chance to see some relationship, to see some relationship with, between some variables but they have to be in a nominal data, okay? 
Are you ready? The two students walk out, so I'm not sure we should wait for them or not. Okay. Okay. The calculation for this one, a little bit complicated, a little bit. Okay, a little bit. Okay. Just the way you need to find the FE. The way you find the FE for this one, a little bit complicated. Okay, so that part I want to make sure you understand. Okay, so first of all, just look at this question. Okay, this is an example from the book, again from the book. Okay, the professor at this school, okay, is curious about if students, their gender related to their preference of the pet. How about you? What's your preference about the pet? Anybody like pets? Okay, what kind of pets do you have? A dog and two cats. <coughs> a dog and two cats. They all yours or is from your other family? Wait, what? They all yours? Um, the cats, mine, the dog, like my mom. So your cat don't, don't, don't like you? Or whatever don't like you? Oh no, my cat likes me. <laughs> okay, anybody like? Uh, do I type wrong? Do I type dropped? Suppose drop, type dropped? I say, do I type wrong? I'm good. Oh, yeah, rotten. What's rotten? Like a mouse. Like a mouse? Yeah. The one like a rat. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now, when you see the data like this, okay, this is raw, this is the total. Okay, so ideally, this is the raw data here, okay? And you, if they don't give to you, you have to add this together. So this is total, your raw total, and then this is the total here, and then total for each of them. Okay, and the total for everything. If they don't give to you, then you have to add this together. Okay? Okay, so let's see. Let's see, what do we do here? Okay, so please be aware the way you write hypothesis is different from your goodness of fit. Okay, so in here we don't say equal or not equal. We don't say pre equal, prefer or not. We say they are Independent, or we say they are associate. Okay, so the book in different different place they they write a little bit different, but the point is your H O need to say they have nothing to do with each other. Okay, so here say independent, unrelated. Another word say they have no relationship. Okay. And then here he say yes they, they do have relationship. Okay, they do have relationship. Here say they are independent. Okay? Now, how about this one? Okay, now the people feel that a little bit different. R minus one times C minus one. Okay, let's guess. What does this word mean? What does R mean? What does C mean? Draw and column. Draw and column. Okay? So, R is number of rows in contingency table. And column C is number of columns in contingency table. Okay? So, if you look at this data, what's our row? What's our degree freedom if we calculate by ourselves? What's your. Oh, somebody say 130 something. 
Okay, R minus one. What's R? How many R? How many R? How many row? Yes. Uh, you tell me. Are we counting the columns? The column totals? We don't count. We don't count total. Rows of Yeah. We don't count total. Total actually, this is supposed to be done by you. So how many row? Two. Two. Okay. Anybody? Anybody good? Row is two. Two row. Right. Male, female. Right. How many columns? One, again, again, no total, okay? One, two, three, four, five, okay? So then you should have a what? One times four, you should have four, right? Right? Okay, so you know four is come from R minus one times C minus one. Okay? Okay? Okay, it's here. I'm just... Okay? Here. So, then this is draw and column. Okay, okay then this is draw and column. Okay, draw minus what times Column minus one. So it's 9.4 AA. We have this number before, right? Because we the four. We have this number before. Okay? So this is the one part difference when you are looking for degree freedom difference. Okay? So if I want to give you a test, I say what's the different way of calculating degree freedom between goodness of fee and independence? What's the difference? What's different? Goodness of fee, you only have a card, you only have a group, you only have a column, you don't have row. Right? And then independence, you have a you have row. That's why they are different. Okay? So now you have to do this one. Right? How do you get F E? This one a little bit complicated, but once you understand. You should be fine. Okay, so FC times FR divided by N. Okay, what's FC? What's FR? The total per. Total of the column. Column times total of the row. Divide by n. Okay, so please watch very carefully. Then you will know how to do it. Okay. Now here say column total row total simple size. Okay. So now, if you want to know the expectation of this one, how do you do it? Okay. 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 How do you find the expectation of BPA? Okay, everybody watch carefully. Okay, 58, the column, the total of this column is what? 120. 120. Okay, so you. So let's say FE for this one. Okay, will be. 120 times the column of this one. The total is what? Uh, 132. Okay? Divide by what? 260. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Fifty A the total. Don't use fifty A, use the 
use the total of this column, okay, times the total of this row, divide by the total number. Okay, let me ask you another one. How do you get 62? How do you get Fe for 62? Okay, just a second. You say what? 120. 120 yeah. times? 120. Yes, 120A divided by 260. That's good. Okay, who else wants to try? Cousin? Cousin? Can I have you try? How do I get Fe for this one? You are to column total times row total. So what? 14. 14 times? Yes. Say that. Yes. Very good. Good job. Okay. Uh, Jason, can I have you try, how do you get Fe for 20? 32. You say 32 times 128. 128 over 260. Over 260. Very good. Alexis, can I have you try 12? Now, Rachel, do you know what she said that? Eh? Okay. okay, because the total column is 58. Total of the row is 128. So that's why you time it and divide by total. Good? Okay. Samantha, can I have you try 10? How do you get 10?
to here. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so now you know how to get this number. <laughs> no. Are you okay? I'm struggling. <laughs> yeah. This number is shut for you. It's just a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Stressing me out. I know. Hopefully, this is less complicated than pre, uh, the presidential election. It's and not. The one guy it's I not. like is Stephen something. Like he is talk about how those number come from. You know, so uh, then, I'm like him. yes. From here, you do the same thing as before. Yes. So the fifty-eight minus. Yes. So, okay. After this, then no more stranger. This is that the same thing. Just more. <laughs> Just more. You have more color. <laughs> yes. Only thing, please watch. Do your question carefully. Like, you may be mis miscalculated. Maybe you add 120 into your number, and then you have another total here. There'll be total in chaos. Right? Every chaos. Yeah. So. Are we going to have to do this? <laughs> oh, we are. So how many questions are going to be? Just one, I hope. Yeah, I hope there's just one of these questions on there. Because it's going to take me like a minute <laughs> to do all this. It's going to take me a minute to do all this work. Well, how they will be so happy to serve you? It's just my phone, so. <laughs> this is me. Literally, my iPhone calculator can't. Yeah, my iPhone calculator can't keep up with this. Like, I can't do basic math on my iPhone calculator. <laughs> Well, you need to learn to love calculation, you know, because just do one at a time. Don't try to type all that in at once. Yeah. Oh, I don't, but my calculator yeah. still is going to hate yeah. me. I know. <laughs> when I type, no, I type one type of them, them, but then it's hard Silly, to Andrea. let each one fly in, so then they have to come out together. Right? Silly. So? So silly. <laughs> yeah. And just take two decimal, okay? Because there'll be a lot of numbers. So you take two decimal, two decimal, two decimal, then make the they are clean cut. Don't put one point one four three three and then and next one one point then you put this number, this number, this number. Oh my gosh! You may say I'm quitting <laughs> the program. Please stop. That happens. <laughs> huh? That does happen. I know, I know. But just believe you. Okay, believe yourself. Okay. So after you do this. Then, 9.8. What's that mean? Yeah. You remember what's our original number? Yeah. Yeah, compare with that. That, yeah. that, that. 9.488. So it's 9.488. Now it's 9.8. Okay. So, here, 9.8. 448 four, and now you're 9.8. You're 9.8 now. So you're over. You win election. So you are what? Reject. Reject. Okay? So when you reject, that means gender and type of pet, they are, they have relationship. The relationship, okay, male and female, their favor to the pet, they are different. Okay. Yes, and now? Now I'm confused again because you said for P to be less, less than or greater than it's supposed, the number's supposed to be. Yeah, okay, look at here. Look at here. See, 9.8 is here, right? Uh -huh. So that's my P. Um, the previous P. But then original P is this. Don't you think your P becomes smaller? Mm -hmm. Hold on, the critical. Okay. So you are you are 9.8 bigger. You are 9.8 bigger than 9.448. Sweet Jesus. Bigger than 9 so right? we, don't, we don't even care about 0.05 then. We still don't even look at that number. What uh, do you mean? We care. So care. you are. <laughs> No, you are nine point eight bigger than nine point four four eight, right? Yeah. So, but your nine point eight is a number bigger than this number. Yeah. But your P is smaller than the number. But you just said it was. 
What? So, so in order to tell, I should just draw the graph and find the little space instead of saying that. No, no. Nine point eight. No. I, don't, I think I don't it's helpful to draw the graph. Okay. So did you see that? Okay. Now, two things. One is number. One is proportion. Okay. If, for example, if this is a class, okay, my quiz, I got 9.8 and out of 10. Don't you think I'm a better than any other student? Yes. My proportion is that very small. Like I'm very So my number score is, is greater. Okay. Because I got a better score, that's why I'm lonely. Right, that's why I'm confused. I mean, that's such a philosophical question. Anybody got this right. idea? Well, if your number is big, bigger than your original, this is a critical. <laughs> that means you have to go over this number to say you are better, you have a relationship. And now my number is over. Okay, so you do that to figure okay, out. Okay, so I'm trying to it. My 9.8 greater than 9.8. Yes, I got that. Yes. Right? So mm -hmm. that means there is a relationship. Yeah. Okay, and then the rejected HO yeah. comes from the Because there is a relationship. Because because your HO say they have no relationship. Then what is the point zero five? That's this area. I set a point zero five. Oh, so it literally doesn't matter. I mean it does. But like to get the final <laughs> to get the final answer we really don't need to look at that yeah actually when you do calculation mm -hmm. that's just one you have to write but you don't okay. need to look at you okay look at here that's where i was getting confused okay i got you okay but okay. then this also mean right my p become <laughs> my p becomes smaller than the one oh, original this is a point oh five right that's original right from here to here that like about five percent I got it now. And right now, I'm over, my brain hurts. so my P is smaller. I Three. found out what P is. That's great. I got it. It doesn't matter. Sure I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd email right. you back. Isn't it pretty much always just the opposite? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Wait, what? No, I just one is better. Wait, what did you just say? The opposite one. If you, if you use this number to decide, Okay, and the reason you, you know that reject this number is bigger than your original setup, okay? And then option for bigger is small, so your area is shrinking. You see this area? Smaller than original setup. So that's your mission right? Yeah. Say that so they can fit into the Well, room. if I'm wrong, I don't want them to hear me. <laughs> 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 no, laughing. Um, so if your answer is bigger than your critical, and it's going that way, then when you do your response, then your P is going to be smaller than 0.05 or 0.01 or 0.01. So just flip it. Okay. Okay. Can you see this one smaller so than So the here? shark is never eating. The same, the yeah. Shark. You got it. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> should. Have it's an alligator. An alligator. The so no, shark is not the same. I got it. You it's flip. You flip. The, okay. Thanks, Sam, for that in there. Appreciate you. I know. Still, some some students come to the She's gonna screenshot that. I know. Just take a little bit. That's why a little bit. Yeah, for that. I know, right? The shark goes different ways. The shark is eating different numbers. Yeah. I got it. One is biting, one is poking. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, one is biting, <laughs> one is poking. All right. I know. Who come out of those signs? Some people have trouble to understand those signs. Okay. It's me. I'm people. I am people. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> we, we are people. We are you are the people. I can tell in the homework. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you, if you are clear, you can put less. You write less. If you worry about the sign, you can just say less. Less than. Okay. But then actually in the research paper, if you read, they all use the sign. So hopefully you gradually able to 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 get that point. Okay. But if you are 
if you want to make sure I understand you, you can put less. The, my need is less. That's important. But it's important to get that. Okay, we have one more from your turn. Stop. And then we'll be done. My brain. <laughs> I'm trying to order my Chinese. <laughs> we are in the on the sky. We've done so, so much work. We're ocean. crashing actually. They are ocean. We cannot then. I crashed We've two questions ago. And, um, look good for us. Yeah. You cannot stop counting. Mm. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I might. Every more is had to count. Sorry, too much for you. We've done so much work. We shouldn't have to do any homework. She's all good. I think she made a good point. With that I'm just saying. Yeah, there's a case there. Yeah, we could explore yeah. that. I do my homework now. Your turn to do homework. I think we've been. Is that right now? I don't know. Okay, now. Look at here. Okay. What? What? You take home? Yes. Yes. I can't sit here for. Okay, now. They want to know for this research, they want to know which hand you write. Are they anything associated with your penmanship? Any anybody you are right hands? Anybody you are left hand? Okay, so this research about that. Okay. So then they found uh, a people they are use left hand. Their apprenticeship is low. Okay, 29 people, they are use their hand, their apprenticeship is you know medium, and six people they are left hand and their apprenticeship is high. Okay? For the right hand, in our in our society, quite often people encourage right hand. Right? So then nine people they use right hand, apprenticeship is uh, low. Okay, 37, they are right hand, their apprenticeship is medium. Okay, 11 right hand people, their apprenticeship is high. Okay, so what's the hypothesis? Tell me. What's the hypothesis? Something about it being equal. Yeah, you know, the same. Remember, I say here you don't talk about equal. Oh, it's, it has not been related. They are unrelated. They are unrelated, independent. Mm -hmm. Don't put equal, okay? Independent and unrelated. Yeah. Got it. Equal is for goodness fit. Huh? What? Equal goodness is fit. for goodness fit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For goodness fit, we say equal or we say, you know, the same reflection, the same proportion yeah. or something, right? <laughs> Okay, yes, make sure, don't let me put, take that point off, okay? So this will be, you say, they are independent and related. Doesn't matter what hand you use to write, nothing to do with their apprenticeship, okay? And this one say they do. The hand they write, something to do with this, okay? And then, how do you get your degree freedom? What's your what's your row? How many row? Two row, right? So two minus one. Oh my god. One, two. Rihanna, are you okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> She's having a very hard time over there. I know. I got it. Okay. Keep going. And then how many colors? Three. Three. So three minus one is two. Okay. So two times so this is one is two. So it's two. So your chi square, okay, I have to go put chi square there. Chi square critical is 1, 5.991. Okay, and then here, I missed the chi square. Okay, chi square critical is 5.991. So right now, let's, let's just put the, put the chart before we go there, okay? So then I say 5.991. Okay, this for 0.05. So P is 0.05 in this area. Okay, and my chi square equal this. So my goal, if I want to see they have a relationship, then I want my chi square is over. 
right? If I don't want to see the relationship, my price goal should be smaller. Right? So our goal, hopefully we can find some number and they can be bigger than 5.191 to get this. Right? That's our goal, right? Okay, anybody good? Okay. So now you need the A together. A this number. Okay, remember the chart don't have the number. This chart don't have the number, right? So you need a nine A plus nine seventeen. You need the A this together, A this together, okay? A this together. A this together. A this together. And A this together. No, 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 here. Yeah. This together. And then A this. A this. Okay, now for 100, to check, see if this number is correct. After you add this, you can add this three number. See the number you got it, same as the number you got from here. So you add this two number, you get 100. And you add, get this three number, you also get 100. Then you are good. So now, how do you get Fe? How do you get Fe for this? Seventeen divided by hundred. Yes, seventeen divided by uh, times forty-three divided by hundred. You get this number. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I want to do this one. Let me see. Mackenzie, can you give me this? Um, okay. Times 43 over 100. Yes. Okay. Okay. Everybody, right? I assume if two people know, I assume everybody know. Yeah. That's a simple number. That is bold. Bold. Very bold. Very bold. Okay. So those people say, give me the right numbers, I assume, yes. Okay, so I got this 7 7.31, 9.69, 28.38, 37.62, 7.31, 9.69 for this group, for this box. You're going to be fine. Hold on. Okay. Now. to travel. Okay? Now you got this. You got this. You got this. Let's you just calculate, right? Remember you know where they are from? Okay. Then then what do you do? Formula. Right? The number subtract the number and square divide by the number. Right. Plus this subtract this square Divide by the number and, and just on. so on and so forth. And on, and on. Yeah, on, 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 and on. And then you got <laughs> this number. Okay, so now we see you. Right? So you got a point five five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Point five five. Point five five. Point five five. Okay, so if you're 0.55, okay, are they still true for this? Is this still true? No. No. Flip it. Flip it. So if you flip this one, then you should what? Yeah. Got it. Okay. And so actually, here, we should say there is no... Yeah. No relationship between those two. See how powerful. You put those number and put those calculations, and then you can get the number. They are more scientific than just people show you the percentage. You know, just because the percentage different is not mean they are anything. They are different or they are the same. Okay. Right? Yes, Let me see. I think I'm. Um, see? So we're done. We're done. No, yes. No, 
we have asbestos. <laughs> we done for the bug. That means you should be so proud. We finished the whole book. The whole book. And you know what? Oh. It hurts. That's what it hurts. <laughs> yeah. That's wow. What it hurts. The whole book. What? Oh, I didn't know we were all done. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully you don't make a fire. Don't give it back to me, okay? Giving it back to you. Don't give it back to me. That's too much. Okay. No return mail. No return. Okay. This is given to you. Okay. So let's take a. We need a break before we do SPSS. I always need a break. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then let's, let's say we're done for the book. Say that. We're done with the book. Yeah. Yeah. Say that. And no, nobody say yay. yay. <laughs> Good celebration. We finished the whole book, right? No offense, but it's the end of the class. Not yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. They are so happy for finish the book. Yes. <laughs>